Guys, happy Saturday, and we have our clean and deadlift work as well as an EMOM for our conditioning. So the, we're gonna take some time to build up. The strength will be relatively short. We're trying to do a similar weight across. Uh, we're doing a power clean and push jerk. This will be from the floor. Set yourself up, tall chest, power clean. Stand up, set your feet, and then push jerk, and stand, okay? Um, so, for the newer athletes, uh, we just say break this up, if you're just learning how to do this movement. So, start standing tall, deadlift. From here we do a hang, power, jump it to your shoulders. From here, jump it, overhead. Don't overthink it, you might do a push press, don't worry about the jerk. As you get better, you're gonna focus on receiving that bar. Okay, that's gonna be important. Um, as the weight gets heavier. But both of these we're working on how do we get power from the hips to get the bar moving upward and catching. Same thing here, dip, drive from the legs, and then we catch it, okay? So we're working this week after week, work on good technique first. If you have mobility issues, you should be working in some mobility works to optimize your position here, okay? Um, so that'll be the first part of our strength. From there, we're gonna be doing uh, some deficit deadlifts. Now, you're only doing deficit if you have good form. We do not wanna be rounding our backs. This requires a little bit of mobility. Um, and so, when you set this up, about two inches off the ground, find a plate, set yourself up. Everything is the same, flat back, speed off the ground, good control down, all right? One good rep at a time. A way to work around this if you don't wanna set up a barbell or deficit is to do dumbbell deadlifts because if you think about a dumbbell weight, they start further or closer to the ground. So you don't need to set up anything extra. If this weight is challenging for you, we're gonna be doing 16 reps here. Um, again, set yourself up, do a deadlift, back to the ground. That's another substitute for this movement. So that's our strength. Our EMOM conditioning, gonna be four movements. The first one we're doing is a box jump with a step down, all right? So explode up. Stand tall and then step back down. All right, so again, choose a number of reps or height of the box that you can maintain within the minute, typically not even the full minute, like 45 seconds or less. All right, from here, this might be the most challenging part of this. We have touch and go squat cleans. This means you are not going to put the bar down between repetitions, all right? You're just gonna touch off the floor. for the reps. This is very tiring and very hard. So, a couple, couple ways that you can make this easier is to not squat. So you do touch and go power cleans. Okay, this will be significantly easier on the legs or you can do hang squat. So you don't go to the floor, just go from the hang, squat, stand. Okay, that'll be a little faster and a little less technical, okay? But again, choose a weight. You can try to get the reps in a row without putting the bar down, all right? From here, we also have double unders. For double unders, choose again, number of reps you can do. Focus on nice tall chest. If you start with singles, slow singles to get the rhythm. And then try to work in some doubles, okay? You can also use a heavier jump rope. If you're not working on doubles, just to do singles with a little bit more weight in the shoulders, okay? Other than that, we're using a machine for calories, and that's our four movements, guys. So, um, again, challenge yourself here, adjust as you go, have fun with it, and we'll see you tomorrow.